Hey everybody, I'm Graham Elwood here with the miserable liberal uh, Steph Zamorano. Oh my God, he got it right. Ah, uh, it's only been 20 years. <laughs> um, and uh, we're here at the Green Room, another Green Room interview at the beautiful Hollywood Improv. We're doing the Jimmy Dore Show live tonight at the Hollywood, the lab at the Hollywood Improv. Sold out. Sold out. <laughs> yeah, look at my big finger. <laughs> I'm relieved that's what you're showing. That's the, that's the story we're covering today. Um, so obviously every day there's like a new person in show business, all of these sex scandals, all the sexual harassment, in some cases flat out sexual assault. How do you, what do you think this is going to do for, is, well, the, is the climate in, in, in at least Hollywood going to change? Well, first off, who do you think I'm doing an impersonation of? Ready? Yeah. Hey, it's Al Franken, everybody. That's good. That's good. Oh, that's when good. I heard him, I was like, Al, really? I don't know. Isn't the isn't it? You know, we've been talking about this that if it's not this chronic behavior, if it's kind of these isolated situations, can we really say that this is somebody who is a predator who's right. sexually preying on other people and not their equals and not goofing around? Because I could tell you there are plenty of photos backstage. Of people screwing around, right? No, yeah, that, that's a good point. So, and this isn't me excusing Al Franken, but that's making a good point. If he was just being, because I've had female comics slap me on the ass, like I bent over once, and a, com a female comic came up behind me and went, "Yeah, I'm inside you." You know, like that happens. That's ha I. I did improv at the Groundlings, and Tony Sepulveda did it doggy style to me. We're dressed, of course, but come on, you know he's a casting director. Woo! Right. So, so if it was just that, like, and because some people ask when I did the super chat do, that, like, are the Trump people trying to jump all over Al Frank in these photos to get people off the Roy Moyer thing, right? Which I'm sure there's some of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, again, if Al Franken is doing this all the time and all these women come out, well, then it's awful and, and he should be held accountable. If that was just a joke, like he took that photo of her sleeping and then showed it to her like, ha ha, and then... I, it seems like he did cross the line with her because it sounds like she was, you know, he made it a public apology. Anyway, I don't want to dissect that so much as I want to talk about the overall culture in Hollywood. Because when, because the other thing too that that that's the the grabbing the boob photo and and Harvey Weinstein sexually assaulting people. Two different things. Yes. yes. Two drastically different things. Mm -hmm. At that point, I will just speak to the whole, like, Harvey Weinstein. He's a man in a position of power. He is powerful. And he conducted himself in a way that was predatory. He's right. a rapist. Right. He's a, you know, he's a crim his behavior is criminal. And it seems that all evidence would point that way. Yes. As far as anybody else right so now. So much so that the New York Police Department is about to file charges against him. Yes. If they haven't already. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, but uh, I've talked about this with my friends that I, you know, as a young woman, when uh, Bill Clinton was uh, having his affair with Monica Lewinsky, there was kind of this strange atmosphere where she was the villain. She was the woman who created this scandal. And, you know, so what? And I remember having the conversation with my friends. What does it matter? When people in positions of power conduct themselves in their private life, what does the, those sexual dalliances or do I, do I care that a man in a position of power and influence like the President of the United States has affairs? Will that compromise his ability to lead the country? And yes, it did compromise his ability to lead the country. Well, yeah, I mean, you want to go into the, the thing that that's so... Uh, so if we're going to hold... If all these women that are coming out against Harvey Weinstein and, you know, the men that have come out against Kevin Spacey and all this other stuff, if we're going to say those those men and women are legitimate and their claims are real, then why are the Clintons off the hook? For all of the women that came out against Bill Clinton and who went after <laughs> those women? Was it his lawyer wife who did this? So why are the Clintons then excused for this? Like if we're, if we're going to change the culture of men abusing power and, and sexual harassment and, 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 and sexual assault, then how, why are they not in the conversation? Yeah, I, I don't understand. To me, you know, um, I've also heard this, you know, in this whole idea of these people who have who've been victims. I've heard people say, and I've heard women say this, well, why did it take these victims so long to come forward? Hmm. 
That, that bothers me on a lot of levels. That bothers me for multiple reasons. Any victim, even p people that came forward as adults who were child victims, who were uh, molested as children, men and women, <laughs> that is, is, why did they wait so long? Because they were, we live in a culture where you're shamed if you come forward. So that culture needs to change. I don't feel safe. And then when you're talking about specifically like Harvey Weinstein or powerful people where it's like, they're gonna crush me. Not, not I'm not. I'm never work again. I mean, hire. There's a, that 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 Native American actress that um, was claims she was, I believe, sexually assaulted after the Golden Globes by Harvey Weinstein and his people. She then fell down, like she died, had a mysterious death, right? So it's it's the uh, there's all these stories coming out that Harvey Weinstein was running it like the mob. I mean, right? That he had actual uh, people that were researching these victims right. and trying to gather information to show how they were maybe sexually active or that they had poor decisions. Right. So they would gather all the dirt on these people. So if they ever decided to bring a claim or become vocal about it, they could evidently blackmail them with other evidence of their lives. So. You know, it's nefarious, his behavior is criminal, and he's a, he's a what, what do you call it, a, a serial rapist. Yeah, and that, that's reason why, why wouldn't they come forward? That reason, because they're gonna get smeared in the public and oh, she's gonna be a whore and she's promiscuous. That's the angle they always do. That's the angle that Hillary Clinton used. Like, so that's why people don't come forward. And then if it happened as, as a kid, some, a lot of memories get repressed. And the, your brain just locks it off and you don't remember it until much older in life. And then if those memories just come forward, oh my God, they're very powerful. Listen, I, I have problems telling my hairstylist to do something better or to not do something, right? Like, I don't know if you've ever gotten your hair cut and you're like, oh, maybe I should tell them not to do that. I have problems communicating that. I can't imagine that after somebody has attacked me that I have to hurry up and file a claim against them so that it's in a reasonable amount of time as if that person's behavior doesn't have a long-term consequence to it. Listen, Dan, I'm up against a heartbreak. I gotta go do a show. <laughs> it's a great point too, is like, um, it's so hard for people to bring it up like that and to just then expect them to, and then if you have to tell the story over and over again, you're re-traumatizing yourself and reliving the story. And then if somebody says, oh, that didn't happen, then it also is re-traumatizing you. So it's something that we need to have. People need to be able to feel comfortable to come forward about this. And we also can't do too much of a witch hunt and lump everything together. Like Al Franken and, and Harvey Weinstein are the same. You know what I mean? Like we have yes. to, it's a very emotionally charged thing and we have to come at it from uh, a sensitive and reasonable point of view, I think. Yeah. Thanks for watching the show. Thanks, Miserable Liberal. Thanks. We will be doing... Thanks, Elwood. Uh...